you're looking for the best possible personal loan for debt consolidation. And so we've created so much content on debt consolidation programs versus debt consolidation loans versus debt consolidation bait and switch mailers that we want to create an article that covers the best personal loans for debt consolidation. So let's get started. Welcome to the Ascend Finance YouTube channel where we cover such topics as debt consolidation programs, personal loans, etc. to help you get out of debt cheaper, easier, and faster. My name is Ben and I'm one of the co-founders here at Ascend. Now, this video is for informational purposes and should not be construed as financial advice. And with that being said, let's go through exactly what we're going to cover in this video. First, we're going to cover what are the best personal loans for debt consolidation. Next, we're gonna cover six of the characteristics of the best personal loans in our opinion. And third, we're gonna cover whether you should get a personal loan or not, right? So first, what are the best personal loans for debt consolidation? And to answer this question in a better way, we actually put a link in the description below, which has some of the ones that we vetted that will be based on the criteria that we put together that will go through the next, which is the six characteristics of the best loans. So if you check out that link, you can check out the different things that we've vetted that we are think. So with that being said, what are the six characteristics of best loans first? we believe origination fee percentage is a very important characteristic. And so to understand origination fees, you have to realize that origination fees are generally a percentage between one and 12%, and it's removed before you receive the funds. So let's say you're getting a $10,000 loan to uh, consolidate your credit card debt, and it's a 5% origination fee. That means that $500, 5% will be removed from the amount that gets deposited in your bank account. So you're only gonna get $9,500. So this fee can be ridiculously high. So it's really important when you're getting a best personal loan to understand what that amount is and how much is it gonna be taken from your loan proceeds, right? So another thing to consider is if you're trying to consolidate $10,000 in a credit card debt, you may need to take out a loan that's higher than $10,000 to account for that origination fee being removed from your funds. So like, you know, if you're looking for, you know, consolidate all your credit cards into one, you may look for a $10,500 to $10,600 loan to consolidate $10,000, knowing that 5% is gonna be removed from that loan balance. So just origination fee is super important to understand in the best personal loans out there. Second, another important characteristics of the best personal loans is that all your debt is consolidated at the lowest possible interest rate. So let me go through an example real quick. Let's say that you have one credit card that's 30%, and one credit card that's 10%, each of those have a balance of $5,000 and you're trying to consolidate them into one $10,000 loan. Now, if you get a 15% loan at $10,000, you're going to be able to consolidate one of those at a lower balance, right, the credit card, but you aren't going to be able to consolidate the second credit card at a lower balance. So it could actually be more expensive for one card and less expensive for other. So some of the best personal loans are gonna be able to allow you to consolidate all your accounts into a lower interest rate, right? That's kind of one of the best things about consolidation loans is sometimes you can get a lower interest rate. In addition to, you can get on a fixed payment plan and a fixed monthly payment, right? The next thing is that some of the best personal loans only request a soft credit pull when you are pulling your, you're checking your rate, right? So they might do a hard credit pull when you're actually confirming your rate and gonna take the loans out, but many of them do a soft credit pull only when they do your check rate. And that allows you to check your rate across multiple different providers. If there's a creditor that's gonna be doing a hard pull, for your personal loan, and then everyone else does a hard pull, that could dramatically decrease your credit score because hard credit pulls are one of the factors that go into your credit score. So that is one of the best things to understand is soft credit pull versus hard credit pull. The next thing on personal loans, personal loans are generally unsecured. So that means they're not secured by your car or your house or any other asset that you have. So some of the best personal loans mean that you do not lose any asset if you don't pay. Generally, something that's backed by a car may have a lower interest than a personal loan that's not backed by anything because there's more risk to the lender if they're lending you something that doesn't have anything other than credit report and credit score that can hurt you if you don't pay, right? If you're looking for a personal loan that's unsecured, make sure that's not backed by anything. Like if you don't pay, they're not going to take your car or your computer or your things. Um, 
that's one thing to consider. Next, one of the best things about no, the best personal loans is no prepayment penalties. Meaning that if you you know take out a ten thousand dollar loan and you want to pay it back in a month, they're not going to charge you another hundred, two hundred thousand dollars to pay back that loan early. Most best credit uh, personal loans do not charge you for prepayment penalties, but it's important to understand that. And sixth, finally, you look on their website, you look on on the on BBB or other forums and find that they have great reviews, right? Oftentimes, these companies that are, are good personal loans have good reviews because they take care of the people, right? I would also, though, caveat and say, I would also look at the negative reviews for even the best personal loan providers to see, you know, are there the legitimate concerns with these guys, right? So look at the ones that have the best reviews, but you could also look at the worst reviews descending to see, you know, what were some of the things that people had a negative experience with. And that way you can go into getting that personal loan with your eyes wide open about what could happen, right? So the last thing we're gonna address is should you get a personal loan or do something else? And the answer to that is ultimately your decision. Hopefully the link in the description will allow you to choose, maybe compare rates across a few different lenders that can help you kind of decide what's best for you. But the, the most important thing, in my opinion, is you know, is that gonna help you get out of debt cheaper, easier, and faster? Or is it gonna put you in a worse situation if you get that personal loan? So that's something to consider. Hopefully this video is helpful to help you kind of understand those things. And we have a lot of other content covering you know, debt consolidation loans versus debt consolidation programs, debt consolidation loan bait and switch mailers, all those things. Hopefully I'll include some of those links so you can also check out that to make the most informed decision to get you out of debt cheaper, easier, and faster. Thanks so much for watching. If this video is helpful, I'd love a like or a subscribe. I hope you have a great day.